Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Wow, what a glorious night. Well, it's morning time. Have a look at this. So John Wiggett, thank you very much. Coffee and Vegemite. I've got to be toast every morning. So when I get up, I've got to have my coffee. Mm. I've got to be one piece of toast so that I can take all my meds so I don't get that twitch. You know, that, that twitch, you know what I mean? Barbie, Barbie gets the twitch all the time. Mm. Mm. Vegemite. Mmm. Mmm. But, mmm. Look at this. John Wiggett sent us a box yesterday. Thank you very much, John. Lots of um, snacks for the kitties. And um, some beautiful... Mm, mm, mm. Some beautiful um, packets of chips for, for us to try. Now, I want to show you something, guys. Now, I haven't had this shit for years and years, years and years and fucking years. Okay? So, go show that the, the little simple things in life are just so beautiful. Seriously. Okay? Now, I opened, opened these up yesterday. I put a little bowl out on the table and Chick Chick and I tried because they've never had it before. And me, I haven't had it for like odd 20 odd years or more. And uh, I'll tell you, it was absolutely gorgeous. It may sound, the simple little things in life are just fucking heaven. You know, like light and tangy fins. You know, I, I tasted that and she's like, I said, good. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. One of my old time favourites, which I hadn't had since I was a very young guy, French fries. And you know, they still taste, it says authentic French fries original. And you know, they still taste just as good. And Chick was amazed at the flavour of it as well. Seriously, John, it's the little things in life that make life pretty. That's like, I tell Chick when she looks at me naked of a night, I say, it's the little things in life, hun. She goes, oh, oh, oh God. Ah. And look at that, I haven't seen these, never seen these before. Never seen these before at all. So it'll be interesting to try these ones out. Interesting to try out. Oh, fuck. Oh. I haven't taken my pills yet, so it's all just a bend over. But these, he sent these last time. I tell you, what a hit! What absolutely beautiful these, the sea salt ones, the sweet chili, sweet chili, and the honey soy chicken. They are just absolutely beautiful. Five o'clock at the gate. I tell you, chick chick loved that shit. Absolutely loved it. She goes, that's not going to the kids, is it? I said, yes, darling. To me, I'm a big kid, you know? Thomas, seriously, very, very nice. And another thing he did is um, we like the jellies here. So we got the heat before from Dan. But um, aeroplane jelly is very popular in Australia. They have a song about it. I love aeroplane jelly. Aeroplane jelly for me. Now, I was amazed at the flavours. I'm going to make one up this morning. I've just turned the kettle off. And uh, I'm going to make one of these up this morning. But before, it was only just your normal, you know, like um, it was orange, strawberry, strawberry, lime, and probably lemon. That was it. Probably about four flavours. Now, look at this shit, would you? Port wine. I'll tell you, I don't mind a bit of port. Port wine, green apple, orange, watermelon. What? Can you believe that shit? Strawberry. Now, this is called Jelly Lights. I've never heard of this before. Jelly Lights, low sugar. Two-pack value. So I don't know what the hell this is, but I'm going to make up some of these today. So I've got all the moulds. Oh, look, mango passion fruit. Vanilla berry. Port wine in a light. Mm, mango orange, raspberry, watermelon. So I'm going to make some of these up today and stick them in the fridge so the girls have got them tonight. Very, very nice. So, uh, John Wiggett, thank you very, very much. Really appreciated, really. And also in his can, in his box, he also had the Aussie cream corn. Now, you can get cream corn here, but I think Chick gets the one from Thailand. But it's only, um, it's only about 80% cream. The rest of it's still all big knobs. So I'm going to have this on toast this morning with a nice fried egg. Love that, I tell you. Also love it with the um, cheese chicken press, the chicken ham or the chicken press. I've made a video on that before. We made up the um, the chicken press, uh, toasted sandwiches with cream corn. Bloody beautiful. Marriage made in heaven, guys. Marriage made in heaven. Well, I'm going to finish my toast off. Someone's already bitten a piece out of it. Bastards. And uh, it's time to get Chick up out of bed and get going. Let's get to it. Okay. Stubby, stubby. Oh, stubs. Stubs. Right, so 
Polly, darling, she's got that anxiety yesterday, didn't she? Yes, a lot of anxiety I noticed with Polly. They all at his back. All the Christmas lights. Come on, baby. She, like, she was shaking, looking at the front porch, hun, with mm. all those uh, lanterns, mm. the flickering lights. She so, so much inside. I had to get everything packed up this morning. Come on, baby. Get everything packed up from the box yesterday and uh, put away. And um, she's, I let her out here and she's she's still walking around, you know, going back inside again. So I realised, oh, it's a little Santa Claus man. So I put a little Santa Claus man, I pull the curtains down and she's come out now. She's she's walking around, but she's still a little bit, mm. So this is little s s s Santa. So it's a dancing Santa Claus. So it has a beam that when the kid is walking in front of it, this thing starts dancing and it starts singing. Uh, Christmas carols. It's a shaking baby, shaking baby. So she was um, a bit petrified with that, which is a bit weird, hey? A bit weird. So I'll put him in here and I'll show all the curtains off so that um, she, she doesn't get scared. But um, seriously, it's totally, totally changed like you wouldn't believe. Totally changed. You know what, baby? Yeah, I'm preparing the list. Preparing the list? When I go for reunion, there's a... Well, Chick's got a... Traction. Chick's got a um, reunion on for all the class people. And uh, her mum and papa's going as well, because her mum <laughs> used to be a teacher. Chick's mama. So I'll be looking after the farm. And uh, Chick's now writing out a list of everything. Like, who's in what pen, what colour... What colour necks the uh, babies have got? Because otherwise, collars. Because otherwise, I'd fuck it up for sure. I'd put the wrong babies in with the wrong mothers. So uh, she's writing out a list now and marking marking them. What's that? No, 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 no. You stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck. Come on, quick. Come on. Ah, suck them. Ha 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 ha. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. So she's making out a list on um, who's in what pen and what colour collars the babies have and um what babies have bottles of milk which babies don't have bottles of milk and how much milk they have and um bran of a morning how to make up the bran and the um hammered corn of a morning so she's right now at a big list because there's, there's a lot involved guys it's not just but it's, it's, it's very light sprinkle i feel it oh god so no um no rain last night i know uh, when bob arrived yesterday he said they had a lot of rain at their place the night before but uh, we had nothing here and still nothing so i'm going to go up and mow the back i've mowed the goat area where we sit with the goats and play but i didn't do the roads yesterday because bob and chris were here so um we're going to change that one over so again thank you very much bob and chris for uh, helping us with the lights they turned out really good i just got to do one little change on the uh balloons chick didn't like the way that we put them up these people have got a new truck and all they do is beat the fucking horn you know, two Filipinos, you know, like, look at me, look at me, look at me. You know what I'm talking about, guys. You know 100%, I tell you. Look at me, look at me, look at me. And they've got a, they got a new truck, so... Yeah. Well, I'm going to do some mowing before breakfast, guys. Right, so Jake's going to get her corn, uh, bananas cut up. Open sesame! Hey. So uh, roller doors, guys, are pretty cheap in the Philippines, and uh, electric roller doors too, believe it or not, to get the electric mechanism put on them. And uh, it was as cheap as shit. I would, I, when they come to put the roller door on, because this was all the um, equipment in here, and the vehicle bay's there, um, I said to Chick, oh, did I have electric motors? You know, electric, she goes, I'll ask. And they were here, and they said, yeah, and it's, um, I think it was um, 25,000. I said, oh, that's not bad. She goes, no, that's, that's everything. Installed, walk away. I said, what? Might have even been less than that. So it uh, might have been around 20,000. And I said, shit, that is dirt cheap. Seriously, absolutely dirt cheap. So electric motor makes it easy for chick when I'm not here. When I say not here, when I'm, when I'm passed away and buried in the garden in the uh, ashes, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You know, can't wait for that day to come, I tell you. It's going to be a long wait. Right. Let's get Big Red going. I've got lots to do. Lots. Oh, hello, I. Good morning. I's coming to work. Right, so those who don't know, I, I lives next door. That's why um, she's not in our maid's room. So we say, oh, you've got a maid's room. How come I, I doesn't, doesn't live in there? That's because, oh, well, Frito's been harvesting. Shit. Bugger. So um, 
That's why I, I doesn't live in the in the maid's room. It's because she lives next door with Wilfredo and that. Hey babe. Right, let's go get some work done. I'll be up the back. Right, so done up the back, all done. Now it's mama milking time. Hey baby. Yes. So this is this is the mama too. Martin and Donnie. Donnie. Martin and Donnie. And sorry guys, I put the wrong video up yesterday. It was under the um, downloads and it was the wrong one. So I deleted and put the proper one up now. Sorry about that. So she's got, she had that mastitis in this boob here, which is like a big disc. So what we're doing now is every morning and every after 4.30, we're milking her right out and massaging this boob. Now it's coming back down again. It started to come back again. Uh, it just happens with her, you know, it's just her, that's it. But um, massage and it's like a disc, but you just sit there and just massage it with your fingers and uh, the milk will come, the milk will just flow through. Oh look at her, she's got that much milk, look at that, look. Look at that. So once she finishes with the, um, once all the, all the babies are finished and weaned off their mother, we're going to keep milking them and we're going to be making some lovely cheese again, guys. Because we haven't had our goat's cheese for bloody ages. Goat's trees with a, a dribble of honey on it. Mm. Peppers. Peppers and herbs and... Oh, yummy. Right, let's get this done and get out. Yeah. And the leftover for her kids later. That's all right. Right, so she's done. So uh, it's, it's getting down. The lump's coming down smaller, but you just got to just keep doing it, guys. When it was really bad on her last lot, is, um, it was like there was a bucket of hot water and just submerge it, lift it up and submerge the titties inside. So we got one full bottle out of it. That was filled to the top, which we gave to Squeaky. And we've also got a little bit more left here, probably a third of a bottle, quarter or a third or something like that. So um, that will go back okay for them. Right, let's move on. Right, let's go and have a look at sick bay. Right, so while Tick was getting the um, feed for the goat milk, she noticed that the big white fella had been attacked. Look at him, look. Turn around, big boy. Turn around. Now it's all in the head, so that means it's another rooster. That means means another rooster's come and got him. So I don't know when, because I've been awake since uh, quarter to five and I didn't hear him hear him scream. Like when, when they get attacked, like when little dog comes and attacks this guy or the big fella, you, you hear him, you know, it's great. they scream like little bitches, you know. Aah! But um, I've been up since quarter to five and I haven't heard jack shit this morning. And little dog hasn't been out. I know that for sure, little dog hasn't been out. So um, it's got me fucked. So the only thing I can think of, because it's all in the head, it's a rooster. Now I know that there's a, there's a big bastard that hangs around over here. I don't know where he's come from. Whether he's one of our young ones that fucked off over into the jungle and grew up. But he's a very beautiful looking bird. He looks like um, Vietnam. But um, Chicks left the gate open here last night when she got the, um, she got the, uh, what do you call it? She got the branches, when she got the branches. So a um, bit of a mistake, but not to worry. So he would have walked in through here where he does. He always hangs around here, that big bastard. So I guess he's come in here very early and uh, gone straight up to the boy. Because it's definitely a rooster has attacked him, I think, 99%. It is a rooster that's attacked him. Because it's all it's all in the head. And like I said, Stubbs hasn't been out, so I know it's not him. Hey lovers. Hey lovers. Lovers. I'm gonna get you some food. Now these are my chickens here. They 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 run over here and they hang around with this big guy. But he's not here. So I wonder if he's still in that area over there I wonder if so it'll be easy to catch he's a big bastard I tell you a very good looking boy too so this is my chickens now but they're normally hanging around with the big rooster they are so so this is the chick remember to shut the gate dolls you know if so dogs dogs can come in like he's come in and they come through here over night time and just cause havoc so um a simple mistake lift it close it off and just live it you know, move on but um, we'll see if we can find that bastard. It's got to be a rooster because it's all in the head. And that's what they gave for the crown. All right, guys. Let's move on. I think it's breakfast time. Let's go and see what Tick Tick's got for breakfast today. Right, so let's go and see what Tick Tick's got today for us. Hey, good morning, I. How are you? Good. Do you have a good night? Yeah. Mm, lots of yummies last night from the box. 
You like them, didn't you? Yeah, the chips are nice. What do you Jerry got, baby? Um, shrimps. Shrimp, crumb shrimp. Yeah, leftover. That's from Mama's <laughs> Mama's beautiful recipe. Yeah. You have to learn how to do that. Egg. Egg. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. And some rice. Quite nice serving spoon, eh? And some rice. Yeah. And you did cook me no toast, even though I left it out on the side with the butter. It's not from the morning. Oh, there it is over there. It's all right, it's hidden away. Don't worry, leave it. I'll have rice this morning. Mm. I'll have rice, you know. It's all about me, 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 you know. All right, guys. Nice brekkie chicks made up this morning. Thanks, Styles. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get out of here and um, we're going to have some brekkie because after that I've got some more to do and then I'm going to be making up all the jelly moulds. I'm going to make up the... Now, I'm just amazed, guys, seriously, at these, like, port wine, raspberry, hey, green apple. It's just, just fucking bizarre, seriously. You know, absolutely bizarre. But I'm going to make them up, so to, I'm going to do one every couple of days for the girls every second day, I think. Every day with a wine in it. How's that? See you later, guys. Please share, subscribe. Remember, it's free. Costs you nothing to subscribe. Hit that like button as well. See you later, guys. Well, guys, have a look at this. How's this for a sun shower? It's the most lightest rain I've ever seen. Wow. Isn't that light, Dals? Hey? It's like, isn't it? Yeah. That is amazing. What a beautiful world. It's like, are we snowing? Yeah, very light. Isn't it, hey? Are we snowing? <laughs> How is that? Is that amazing? Wow. I just came out to give my babies in the hotel some rice. And uh, this just started up. Isn't that amazing, guys? What a wonderful world.